Good morning. It is like 6.20 or so. Um, I got a text that the trucker is, like I said, not here early. Um, he's sitting on the road, so he's not like waiting. But I'm going to go over so she wants to get loaded a little bit early. Um, and we can get the ball rolling and get him on and do chores and be done with it. So, surprise, surprise. How did he be here early? Oh, look. There's the truck. Straight up chilling. At the end of the driveway. Found the clicker so we can double check our counts when they go on the trailer. It's a lot easier. Nessa, what are we doing? Are we here early? Come on. It's crazy how in 24 hours or so, a little bit more, I'm going to be sweating my butt off because it's hot. But here I am, 50 degrees, wearing a hoodie because it's cold. <laughs> oh. It's going to be a smack to the face. I don't know why Mr. Bowler is chasing this at her because she's confirmed cooking it. But she's not staying there. So. Hey, little chubby lady. <laughs> she's so little. <laughs> but she is chunky. There's our heifers. And then the sears. Oh, on that side. Coming in. There's four in there, and that's four. But... I know, I can cut one off. Come on, girls, let's go.
The placement heifers are excited. Come on, boys. Follow the leader. Let's go. Headed on the block top right now. Uh -oh. We gotta go fix the bearing in the feeder wagon. It's gotta move down just a little and to the north. We might need mom. This one on top. that I can't see is the one that I don't have. I know, I just can't get it. There we go. Let me know which one you're starting with. A size smaller than a 15, 18, or 15, 16, so seven eighths. You just handed me one. I was like, it's not the red one, but. was not pretty on my end. There's the old butte. You ought to. Hopefully, that's the last thing we have to fix on this finger wagon. I freaking hope so. <sighs> I really hope so. Knock on wood. Oh, now they're gonna get up, but. Lots of babies outside. They love the creep pen. Dad should be happy. He is happy, actually. I know for a fact. Um, we're down to four loads of feet instead of five. So, last bounce around this time. And hopefully that decreases even more in the next little bit. But, it feels good to have less loads of feet because it just, just gets old after a while <laughs> every single day. Of, so many loads when it doesn't absolutely have to be that many loads of feed type of thing. Here's the chubby boys left. They look bigger with other massive friends in there. Some of them definitely have some weight to gain, but you just need a little bit of a butt. That's why you didn't go. You were a bottle calf for a little bit because your mom had to do it down. But yeah, 
Peppers were having a conniption fit the entire time. Hey, gross. Are you gonna be friends? Kind of. Feeding cats first. Sleep is kicking my butt right now, but just be what happens sometimes. I will probably not have a wild Friday night, I will likely go to bed early. <laughs> ah, adulting is so fun. I used to look forward to Friday nights and like go, you know, live life and go hang out with friends, and now I'm like, can I go to bed at nine o'clock? But got a little bottle cap here drinking. A bottle of calf anymore. I mean, bottle of calf, just not on a bottle. Fuck a calf. Um, drinking his milk. And we're doing chores. Gotta haul some more corn. All of that good stuff. But I told you in the video prior to this that the truck would show up before 7 30 and he was here at like. Mom and dad woke up at 6 and he was on the road. So I'm guessing he probably drove and then just slept here. Yeah, 6 11. I'm getting a text. So I was like. <laughs> I'm not a morning person either, so take that as you will, but it just feels good to have them out of here when they're worth so much with the heat coming because a couple days of heat, it's supposed to be hot Saturday, somewhat decent Sunday, not absolutely terrible Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are supposed to be brutal, they're just still supposed to be hot, but not quite as hot, and then I think we're hopefully going to cool off and go back to like pre-fall temps, I would hope, we're at the point now um, that it's getting towards that but it's just chilly this morning like I'm still in a sweatshirt so that'll do it the alfalfa needs the heat though so I'm not gonna complain too much it's gonna dry the corn out too because it's closer to chopping silage nothing is really turning around here yet but our neighbor is a custom chopper and he's gearing up so it'll it'll happen quick and then we're in the busy season and chaos all over again tell me you know your dad without telling me you know, dad. I was headed to go get cow mineral for him before he was even ready for cow mineral. And as I'm driving over here on the side by side, he's over here like pointing and like demonstrating a bag. I was like, I got it. I got it, old man. Don't you worry. It's right here. <laughs> so I'll get him his fly, or, yeah, fly control and a bag of mineral. Daughter of the year. He doesn't have to walk. Can you say tame? They're all super interested. and he's on his own. He's loaded and leaving. So he's on his own for the next one because I have a meeting to hop on so I won't be on but he'll be fine. He's got um, a load left maybe. He said if it's three quarters full he will take it to town. If it's less than that we'll save it and grind it for the fat cattle. But he'll be on his own. He said jokingly that he'll take a video just to show that I'm not always there helping. I roll. Uh, he probably won't, but he'll be fine. He'll get it. I helped with at least half the loads. Trying to help the old man out. That way he's not, you know. It got really windy, so the only time you can hear me, and now I'm probably echoing because I'm inside of the bin. Um, so here we are. But we dug up a last full load hauled. There's a little bit of corn in here yet. He said like 100 bushel maybe. I'm not good at knowing what a bushel really represents. Like, I know in my head with the math, but don't ask me. 
So, anyways, we will uh, load this out, empty the bin. Next week, probably grind all of this corn up for calves. Calves, fat cattle, whatever I just said out loud. I'm really tired, you can't tell. But that was kind of a little day in the life of mainly hauling cattle and hauling corn, and then I had some meetings and stuff. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you find me on all of your favorite social platforms as That Fit Advocate. But until next time, I'll see you then. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments.